Welcome back, Vault Dwellers, to the continuation of my Let's Build at Teffington Alien Crash Landing Site. Uh, so in the last episode, we kind of finished some of the brick outside, and I was looking for a particular roof section that uh, I just could not find, so we kind of moved on over to the uh, boat entryway over there. But I finally did find the roof sections I was looking for, and it just wasn't going to work. It wasn't looking like I wanted it to, so... We are actually going to try something a little different, if I can find the exact ones that I'd found just before. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to use some of these damaged roof sections from the barn. So, what I want to do is get myself some nice flat section to start with. And, see if I can, I don't know if these are going to lock, I don't think they will. Uh, they will not. So, uh, to make sure I get the proper orientation, we're just going to kind of... Finagle them in, and, um, go from there. And, uh, again, I don't really care too much about how this looks, because this is all supposed to be damaged. Uh, however, I do want it to be straight, for the most part, anyway. Uh, at least over here, where the roof is supposed to look okay. So we're gonna go ahead and kinda do that, and... Oh, jeez, yes, you were sticking out way too far, and I'm just kinda stuck there. So... Let's, um, turn that off, and let's bring that in, like so. And we'll kind of go from there. Let's see. Um, yeah, because this is only a one and a half section, so... We'll kind of... Nagle this a little. We'll kind of... Stick these together like that. Now, let me turn my snapping back on, and... So... Basically, what I'm going to go for is kind of this. Uh, these broken-looking sections here, so it looks like the roof just kind of fell down and collapsed. And, yeah, that's kind of uh, the effect that I'm looking for, so we'll just go ahead and continue on. Um, maybe put a couple of these guys in here just to kind of keep things on. Of course, they won't connect to each other. So, we'll kind of finagle it. As we've been doing through almost the entire series here, just kind of make it work. Um, yeah, see, that's kind of not working. But we'll just kind of do something along that line. And there, see, now it kind of looks like the whole roof just kind of collapsed in on itself. And, um, yeah, that kind of works, I think. Maybe we'll take, like, a whole section out then. Maybe we'll just kind of leave it looking like that. That looks a little better. I like that. And, um, we'll put a couple of, like, beams or something in place. So we got some support, uh, no, no, not here. Uh, back over to wood. And we'll throw some beams in place so it looks like, you know, they're just kind of leaning on what's left of this little bit of floor here. So let's go ahead and hippity-hoppity up here. And, uh, we'll find something to kind of works. Let's see. That's actually kind of the perfect height. We'll kind of stick it like right like that so it kind of looks like you know it's sort of leaning on a post there. Um, we actually do have let's see. Go back over to uh, here. Structural wood. Um, let's see. One not here, I do know, um, geez, there's so many choices, um, partially sanded, 76, no thank you, let's see, what do we have for miscellaneous, a bunch of weird funky things, of course, um, not quite what I'm looking for, though, I was gonna, oh, right there, perfect, so it kind of looks like, you know, we had an interior wall here, and it kind of collapsed in, and Hit that, plus this post and whatnot, and I like that. All right, let's see. Oh, we do have a very bent one. Ooh, let's use that one instead. It's kind of tall, though. Hmm. Hmm. That one's even more bendy. So let's kind of... Yeah, there we go. Gonna do that. Nice. I like that. Let's see how that looks from over here. Yeah, see, it looks like it's bending under the stress. How cool is that? Um, it does kind of leave a lot of the inside here exposed. But I'm not too worried. I mean, we can stick some more framework in here. Um, 
kind of like that, but I don't want it to be on the outside because I want it to be like the inside here. Um, I'm going to make it look like that kind of... The brick collapsed, maybe the wood survived? Let's see, what else do we have? Do we have kind of like a half one here? Um, we have some fallen sections that could be beneficial. Um, actually, I'm going to use that. We're going to stick one of these, just kind of... Maybe. I don't want it to look too perfect now. That is kind of like a whole flattened section here, so let's just kind of put that like that for the moment, and then I want to go over to CVC and let's see, decorations um doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I think it was actually under grounds we have bricks and wood and then we can just throw a whole bunch of these on top of it some there, some of these, some of those, put some here as well, twist them around and just kind of make a whole big giant mess of stuff everywhere. And I can use, I have, like I said, these bricks, but they're just not the right color, unfortunately. If you see if I put them in place, they're much, much darker, which I suppose we can kind of use, doesn't really matter, I mean, we're just kind of messing around here anyway. Let's go ahead and throw a whole pile right in there like that, and another door there, and maybe we got some big chunky boys out here or something. Oh, maybe they got burned. There you go. They're all charred up. So we'll throw some of these guys and some of those. Some wood here, too. Just kind of throw them all over the place. Gonna create our mess. Oh, yeah, that's looking more like a <laughs> collapsed derelict building. Um, need some more debris out here, I think. Let's, uh, let's throw some like right there. And there, and there, and there. We're not too worried. Doesn't have to be perfect. Who cares? Right, right. Throw some bricks in here, too. That mess. Nice. Cool. I think that works. That kind of sets it off. Um, I do kind of want some more, whatchamacallit, decoration in here. So let's go back into Kuro and go back into these guys and put one of these here so that. Oh, that was upstairs. I did that as well. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. I thought I already did that. <laughs> Dummy. Um, yeah, we're going to put one of these. See, now you're too small. So we're going to have to go with something tall. Something like that. So it looks like there was something here that kind of collapsed and fell and whatnot. And, um, hmm. What else do we have? Eh. Right back into here. Let me see. And we do have the door frame here, which doesn't really fit, fit. Um, yeah, no, get rid of that. That's terrible. Let's see, we have miscellaneous wood pieces. Um, not quite what I'm looking for. And, uh, so let's put, um, uh, let's see. Plastic wall. They're too funky. Too funkadelic. Um... Why you would have plastic walls, I don't know. Maybe for the protective lining. You know, waterproofing or something. I don't know. So let's, let's put one of these in place and let's just see how that looks. From the outside, anyway. <laughs> um, nah, I don't like that. Let's get rid of that. Alright. That's, uh, that's cool. That's good enough. Alright, we're done. On to this section. So... Uh, one thing that's been bugging me is I do need a section of stairs here. So we're going to go ahead and take that bad boy out. And we're going to go back into Schneppy. Um, and head all the way over into this section so I can get my stairwell here. 
because I need one here. So that because we have all this section here to walk to and no way of getting down to it. So now we do. Um but of course I gotta kinda fill this in and change some stuff around here, so for now let's uh let's take you and just boop stick you there. And let me study the area here. And uh like I said I am gonna be putting some some docks over in there as well, so wanted another section here. Maybe we'll put something in place. Alright, so let's go to Cargles, because Cargles has peers too. So, not too worried about them being from the same exact one. Not that big a deal. And is my snap off? It was. There we go. Kind of do that. So now this kind of looks like it's meant to be. In a sense, but now you see that's kind of crooked. I don't know if I can live with that, because if I put another section in, then it gets really crooked. So, let's just do this. Let's bring you up, like so. And, yeah, let's kind of straighten you out a little. So let's uh, bring you over, like so. I think that looks straight enough. Work with it. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It's not that big a deal. So let's snap those into place and put you in there because I said so. Put that guy in there and uh, let's continue on. So, so now we have this whole built-in section but um, yeah I mean the stairs are a little crooked in comparison but I really don't care. Alright let's put some wall section in here to kind of make that look better. River. So let's go ahead and put you in there, another section in there. Now one thing that's always kind of bugged me is like the giant gap between these. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that because I think that looks much better. So now we've got that and some stairs. Boom! Look at that. And then uh, maybe we'll put a railing or something here and uh, I don't if I can help it, I don't want to move that rock. I really like where it is. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's a railing. That, uh, that fits. Cool. If it fits, it sits. All right. Then we also have these dudes here, which uh, let's see. The more that one's got a slight angle to it. We can use something like that for getting in and out of the boat. I'll go ahead and we'll put it here. Then I'm going to load this boat up, too, with a bunch of fishing stuff, too, at some point. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to keep it like that. All right, so, uh, as I had mentioned in the last video, um, if you guys know any door pieces that I can put in here, you might have already done so. Uh, if not, um, basically what I am looking for, we'll go over that again real fast, is some very large doors that I can use... Um, for this section, because I don't just want to use the regular plain Jane, um, whatchamacallit, uh, garbage doors here. I want to use something kind of like these guys, and I would use them, but as I showed in the last video, they don't quite open enough. So if I put this in place, which is probably backwards, knowing my luck, um, yeah. But see, even if it was facing the other way, like, that's as far as this stupid door goes which is very disappointing. I really was hoping that this thing would open and swing like a normal big door, like these, you know, the barn doors. Um, so for a place setter, uh, for now, I'm just going to use the barn doors. Um, and I'm going to have to rebigulate them, so let's see if you're facing the right way. You are! Perfect! Alright, so we're going to go ahead and close you. And we're going to make you Gigantosaur. See how big that bad boy is? Not big enough! You need bigger. Let's try that. Because I need to be able to fill in this gap completely from both sides. And let's see. Right across the top of the water. And we do have a little gap there, but that is not that big a deal. Um, okay, so that means you must go there. So let's see, how big did I make you? Let's see, you are at 140%. Doop, doop, doop. More time. 140, perfect. Now we'll take you, 
and scoot you over to thar and hopefully that fills in our gap we'll just put you like that and bring you up oh no you gotta go bigger okay must have looked at something wrong so um well actually we do have to go bigger all right let's take you up a notch and if i can reach you no there we go bring you up a notch or two and let's see Lock you into place here, maybe. Then, uh... Actually, you know what? I need something to stand on. I know, you guys have mentioned before that uh, there are... Is a mod, whatever, that will allow me to, like, fly around, but... I don't like to, to use that because... I want to show people on the PlayStation... Um... You know, how you can get around... Without... Mods like that, because Sony won't allow... Um... Outside content into the PlayStation, which is really stupid. So, alright, let's make you a little bigger. Oh, I hit the wrong button, you dummy. There we go. Alright, let's try that again. So, this is just kind of a placeholder, so just so we can enable this about and uh, make this work the way I hopefully can find a better door. Doors. And, uh, there we go. Now let's see if I can actually access them. So you can open from there, and there, and now we can get in and out, and... Oh, I'm gonna have to <laughs> fix that as well. Because that just don't look pretty, but again, this is more of just a placeholder. So, let's go ahead and take that out of place, and... I guess, uh, since we know that this is going to be an issue, we can address it at the moment. So let's kinda put you there. Swim on over here. And stick you. Oops, hold on. Right, the R. Cool. Now, let's go ahead and uh, close these so we can see what it looks like from the outside. Now, take a little swim. and So, that's kind of uh, the effect I'm going for. And why are you so much smaller? Huh. Alright. Let's, uh,. Drop you down, then. <laughs> I must have uh, done something wrong there. Okay, let's uh, let's see what's going on here. Where am I? There we go. Um, yeah, that's so weird. Okay, well let's see. Let's um, drop you down a size. That takes you to 170. That takes you to one... Okay, so now you're going to be the same size. So maybe throw you to 160. And then we'll... Place you like that. And let's see. Oops. Getting out of the area. Uh, and we'll have to boop you up a few. Oops, wrong button. That would help. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, those look even. Okay. Let's go ahead and swim backwards. So essentially, as you can see, that is kind of the effect we're going for. Um, I just don't really want to use the boring, these boring, boring, boring doors here. So hopefully, uh, you guys can help me out with that. And, uh, actually, now that I've just seen that, let's, um, let's see, where, 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 where I think those are in G2, I'm seeing the, um, there we go, up here, want, no, 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 maybe just part of the floor then, let's see, I want the concrete sections there, which I'm not seeing, oh, maybe under sports, uh, nope, uh, let's see, we have slopes, railing, stairs, miscellaneous, huh, not there, Definitely not there. Um, that's weird. Okay, well then we're just going to have to go to our craggles here. Because I want to put the uh, the concrete on that side there. So let's go to our piers, our walls, and I want to use these guys. Let's go ahead and lock that. In. Oh, I didn't even get it in the right spot. Really? Oh, yeah, because there's normally a corner piece, but I don't care. Do I? Actually, I kind of do. <laughs> and I'm sure you do too. Alright, 
It's uh there we go. And uh nope. Oh. There we go. So that way Yes, it looks more solid it did. Okay, now to tackle this. So I kinda do like the bridge that I put here in place. Uh fortunately it's a different color, but we can work with that. So I want to put some guard sections here, which means I'm going to be making some of the docks here maybe wider or something, or maybe I can kind of build out on an angle. Um, let's see. Actually, you know what? Kind of a good idea that it just popped into my head. Let's go back to here, construction, pier, support. Not those. Um, not that one. That one's kind of cool looking, right? I'll throw that doer right up in there. And, uh, let's see, get you going to, like, the edge. Then bring you over a smidgen so you're more centered. Like, so... Oh, jeez, I fell in the water. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. I think... I might do that instead, though. Hmm, we'll kind of leave that at the moment. Maybe we'll put another doer right here to kind of make it work a little like so. And then, you know, that little guy that's sticking out. Um, oh, I forgot I had to replace these sections of wall, too. All right, so let's go ahead and do that real fast. I think the ones I want are in here. Um, let's go into fences. Junky fences. Um, we'll just cycle through till I find the exact one I'm looking for. There we go. These these bad dudes are right here, because we need to be able to get in on our stairs here. So let's go ahead and uh, pop you in like that. Almost perfect. Nice. And then we have this one that has a little lean to to it, so that they're not exactly the same. But we will line that up like so. And perfect. Oh, jeez, no. we got a gap. We can't have that. Oh, and you guys snap into each other. So, let's kind of do that to close that. And kind of nagle that like so. And there we go. So now we actually have some room. Oh, but we got to check out another one because you're right in the middle of my stairs and I can't have that. All right. Um, we'll put another straight dude right there. We don't want the one that's leaning, because that's going to kind of muck it up a little bit. So for now, let's just put you there, whilst I work on getting you in place, like so. How's that? Um, yeah. Perfect. And on this side, I don't think we really had much... No, we didn't have any interference, because I already had uh, the flat ones here. So, cool. So now that we're up here, I want to kind of build this into little guard towers, which is kind of why I extended this here, because I want to put some more floor over there. So actually, let's go back into here, and my barn warehouse, I think that's what I was using for my floors. So, we'll kind of do something like that, I think. And that way we have like that little cutout for us to come and go. And then uh, we can stick another support here, so that kind of makes it all work. And then we have our existing floors that we can put some walls up. Um, let's see, what am I going to use for my walls? Let's just take a look at our regular wood walls here. If I have what I'm looking for, sort of, but they're not tall enough. We put that in place is but it isn't it's like that's gonna be very low roof line so let's take that out and we can use actually probably work with something like that but then the fence <laughs> interferes so i mean that's not that big a deal i could always just lower the fence and um yeah so maybe we'll try that let's turn our snapping off for just a case oh you're gonna be stupid all right down no all right we're just gonna have to do it this way Lower it down. Keep lowering. Then for OSHA regulations, you can't have anything stick up that you can trip over. And then this way, too, you can kind of see from side to side. 
and uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. And we're going to have to kind of leave this open too for our normal uh, pedestrians coming and going so that they can get down there. So, um, for that, which is the right section, I think, for our railings. Yes, this is where all my extra ones are. We're going to put some heavy-duty metal ones in here so that we have some protection from bullets being shot from the side. So kind of like that. So now we got kind of our little thing going here. Um, back up in here into walls and my half walls. And there we go. Kind of bring this guy over. And we're going to kind of obscure some of it because I want to keep this section open as much as possible. Um, actually, you know what? Let me try a different one here. Maybe, maybe that guy. Kind of continue on with our little bit of triangle shape here. And, uh, let's see. In here, we can't really do too much because of the way it is. So, yeah. Hadn't thought about that before when I put this over here like that. I can't really fully create a guard tower per se, but I do have another idea. Let's see. We can just do this. Boom! Now we've got ourselves a little semi-covered guard shack. Right. Right. Perfect. That gives you like a little door section, so I can stick a little door in there. I can put a couple of dudes up in here, and or dudettes, or whatever, and that works. Um, then I guess I don't really need all this extra section then. <laughs> that kind of makes it a little irrelevant um, if I'm not going to enclose it, unless I make this into its own little room here, which uh, we could do. I mean, I could put, um, oh, your, your center thing be like that. Maybe not. Um, alright, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and head on over to this side, and let's do the same thing over here. Let's, uh, Turn our snapping back on. Get that in place. And oh, geez, I didn't realize I had the two, uh, two of them like that. Not that big a deal. Just drop them down. Yeah, that works too. All right, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh no, wrong one. Yeah, I keep <laughs> hitting the darn floor. Uh, let's see. Well, that's. There we go. And I can't access that one. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop this one down. Let's get on that little corner piece. Hopefully we can get it down so that it's not in the way. You know what, let's just do this. Fastest way. <laughs> I'll just keep hitting the floor down. And then uh, let's a couple more. And I can just bring this up. Boom! Perfect. Alright, let's put our other wall in place. Actually, let's uh, go over here and um, get some more metal sections here. I should have just turned the snap on before when I was doing this. Oh well. And uh, this guy will not snap in place, so I'm just going to angle him in like so and then line him up here. There we go. And we got ourselves our little little guard huts that kind of stick on up over and um, yeah, I guess we don't really need that, um, any of that, so we can go ahead and get rid of those and then just kind of keep that and put some railings up there. So now we have our little crossing bridge here. Um, we gotta fill that gap in because that's just, that's an accident waiting to happen. Um, we are gonna use, uh, I think I'm just gonna go for some plain Jane wood railings because, why not? Right? All right, and let me turn that off. We can kind of put this in place here. And let me line you up a little better. Oh, I mean, we do have that kind of gap there that does kind of bug me. Yeah, there's always something. I mean, if I put it on an angle, it kind of doesn't work either. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll figure something out. For the meantime, I'm just kind of do that to kind of fill things in. Get our snap back on. The rest of these. 
And, um... Boop, turn it off. Maybe I can... Maybe I'll just stick, like, a post in there. Something like that. That kind of... That kind of, I think, works. I'll stick you there like that. And you like that. And then... Let's see. I guess I'm in the wrong one. Let's head on over to here. Back into wood. Nope, not prefabs. Our supports. We do have this little doer. Maybe we'll just kind of stick a bunch of these in place or something. Maybe we can figure something out. Maybe we can make this look more like a suspension bridge with these kind of things. I mean, that's uh, kind of one way to do it. So for the meantime, we'll just kind of fill them in. And uh, Actually, you know what? We can uh, put some lights on top of there. There we go. Now we'll have a poipus. It'll hold a light fixture. Oh, um, oh no, you're you're at the right height. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, I'm going to put. Let's see what CVC has here into fire. Um, that kind of works. Ooh, could kind of do that. That's kind of cool. Let's see. You. You. Like that. Oh, jeez. That's not quite right. Let's turn on... There we go, the snapping thing. I should say, uh, the grid. Hmm. Well, wait, no. You're kind of interfering with the thing there. Alright, what else do we got? Um, I mean, I could just use those, but I kind of don't want to. Hmm. You're probably going to be the same thing, right? Let's try over here. See if you're the same height or if you're a little different. Come on! Get into the. Oh, jeez, crackers. That uh, kind of works. Okay, put you there like that. Um. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. But then, uh, we do have something a little different. Could just put my own hook there and my own lantern. Maybe. Let's see. Hmm. That's a possibility. I could just... Let me turn off the grid thing, because that's just kind of mucking things up. So I could just kind of put my own little hook thing there. Alright, maybe I'll do that then. So let's just kind of... Boop. Put these where I need them. You're low. Uh, let's make sure you are the proper height. There we go. Put you... Here, while I find a hook. Same thing with you. Get rid of that guy. And put you there. Okay. Now, let's go into... See something in Snappy, or is it elsewhere? Um, actually, I think... Back over here. Oops, where am I going? Dummy. Uh, into the support section. I think there's... Um, some accessories, and we have uh, some of these guys here. And I think there was something I could use. Not those. Maybe this. I can kind of put that on the side there. I think. Do these snap in place? I think they do. Oh, but it does it from the top. Sort of. Kind of not where I wanted you, though. Um, Alright, turn snapping off, because that's. Or, I thought I turned snapping off. Try again. Alright. There we go. So, I'm going to kind of use this my own way. There we go. Take that little guy. And we'll bridge you through the loop as best I can. And let's see. Over a smidgen. There we go. That works. Cool. Alright. Put you there so I can work with you towards the top, and we'll thread you through the loop, like so, uh, how's that look, ah, good enough, who cares, okay, on to the next one, uh, let's see, so I put those on the outside, so I might as well put these on the outside too, so let's go ahead and flip you around, put you on the top here, now just a smidgen, make sure you actually are where I want you to be. Oops, too far. 
Good enough. All right. Get nice and close. And thread you through the loop. Uh, over just a little. That's going to bug me. Okay. That works. All right. Next and final one. Here. All right. Let's uh, make sure you go where I want you to go. Down a smidgen. All right. Perfect. Let's get real close to you so I can actually see the loop. And put you in place. Like so. Boom. We have lanterns and they have purpose. They do serve a purpose. Sweet. That looks pretty cool. Alright. I'm gonna call that a win-win chicken din. Something like that. Um, yeah. Alright. So I'll turn this off and go take a looky from over here. See how our little bridge and boat looks. Cool. I will take it. I think that looks pretty neat. And uh, we got our boat and we got our placeholder for our doors. And uh, I am going to put another section of dock uh, over here and um, fill all that in with uh, its own pier section as well. But uh, we're going to have to do that in the next video. Um, and then uh, at some point soon, too, we're going to start tackling some uh, actual houses and whatnot here in the water. We have all this space here that we can work with. Um, I'm going to extend that kind of walkway out this way, and then I'm going to put a whole bunch of houses on, like, pier support, uh, supports or something like that uh, out here in the water. And then we can start actually building our community. And then uh, sometime after that as well, we will be doing the houses there. Um, and for the gates, the main entry gates, um, a lot of you have been wanting me to put some sort of, uh, the guard houses here. I mentioned, you know, I was thinking about putting them in place, and I decided I'm not going to do the guard house. Actually, what I'm going to do is very similar to what we just did over there, and I'm going to do, 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 do do something along the lines of this. We're going to have a... Uh, of course you're not snapping. <laughs> We're going to put some sort of uh, walkway across the top here. Um, better looking than this, of course. And put up like some gnarly protective fence as well up here so that um, we have a uh, full view of the road coming towards us. And it's uh, the same exact thing, basically, as having guard towers, except uh, it's just more kind of a guard access crossing point. I so wish um, I could set it up so that they kind of uh, marched back and forth and whatnot, but unfortunately there's nothing cool like that. Unless there is, if uh, you know of some sort of uh, mod that has an animation like that, please do let me know. That would be uh, absolutely excellent. But uh, essentially that's what I plan to do, is to do something along the lines of that. Um, one of you had mentioned possibly doing like some scaffolding or something, and that's what made that pop into my head. So I'm going to use some sort of um, something that I'm going to uh, build from scratch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm stepping all over my tongue here. Um, yeah, that uh, is going to go just along the top of the fence there, and uh, essentially create a nice little defense and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's the plan. Uh, hopefully you guys like that idea. If you do not, uh, please leave it in the comments below and let me know. Until next time, don't get irradiated.